today's video shows what old 220 in Center County looks like as of, oh, this is probably March 6th, I think. Yeah. 2024. I am in Bald Eagle State Park. Obviously, you can tell this road is not very smooth because it is old US 220. Holy cow. So, lately, the water or the, the lake levels have really dropped especially if you're on PA 150 which at one time was 220 as well but uh, you can definitely see it when you're near the overlook oh my god I, that's just crazy uh, last time I was here Mike and I walked on the other side I don't think I have that video clip to add to this but we walked from the dam side to the to this cove on the other side and uh, just to see what it looked like and oh it was not like this Heck, I could just walk all the way across. Jeez. But yeah, this is old 220 in Pennsylvania. I'm, I might just have to. That's so cool. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to get probably a video if I can. Mike said you can see it really good on the other side as well. Yeah, this is old 220 here. Holy cow. All right, let's 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 check her out, man. Let's go. I'm here at Hunter's Cove. This section, maybe I don't, no, I don't think I can walk all the way across because there's a little bit of water. But this is the Hunter's Cove part of the lake. Usually the water's not this low when I'm here. That's the first time I've seen it this low. Uh, what, what those? I know fall, fall fish make mounds, but I don't know who made that. It's really cool. They moved US 220 and the rail line. That Nittany uses, Nittany Bald Eagle uses to build the dam. You got fish. Good job. Hello. Yeah, there's a memorial on the other side by the office for the gentleman that they named the reservoir after. Might have to go and get pictures of it soon. Yeah, I didn't think you could. So that's facing Blanchard and Beach Creek. And that's facing Howard. I'm just south of that last spot at Hunter's Cove. And I forgot about this. I keep forgetting to get a picture. But this is the Foster Joseph Sayers. This is what the reservoir is named after. Private First Class. And it gives the number. Congressional Medal of Honor, born April 27, 1924, killed in action November 12, 1944. This planting of trees in Liberty Township, Center County, where I'm at, was made by the Pennsylvania Department of Highways with the cooperation of the Brooks Dahl Ebling, I want to say Ebling, post number 33, American Legion in Belfont, 1946.
So these trees are in honor of Mr. Sayers. 1941-1945, World War II, uh, marker, just figured I'd show that real quick, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just south of the last location, and this is where Old 220 goes like straight toward the lake and then this, the main road for the park is right there and that goes out toward 150 got some onion grass growing over there spring's coming so it's spitting rain so rain's coming I heard a guy at the last place say uh, that it was supposed to rain by like four, so we'll see. Over on that side of the lake is the Nittany Bald Eagle, which was the Bald Eagle Valley Railroad. Then Penn C, Penn Central, Conrail, then the Nittany took over. I am not quite sure where their line, they had to move the the Penn C, it was Penn C at the time, I think. Or was it Penn Central? But anyways, they had to move the rail line back toward that way to be at the bottom of the mountain. But I don't know where with a now and then of the, the lake where the line was. I know it went closer to downtown Howard because when you're um, going toward the one park that's on the edge of the lake, you see... Uh, a flat spot and then it dips down. That was the right of way when it was relocated. Or the original location before it was relocated, my bad. Um somewhere I saw that somebody said that the 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 line was relocated twice. I don't know for sure. There's some patch work. It's held up pretty good being uh pretty much just sitting in the weather, not being maintained. So yeah, Nittany, let me see. Yeah, I can't quite see them, but I think they're just off the bottom of the hill. Or bottom of, the, yeah, bottom of the hill of the lake. Probably, I'd say, maybe 30, no, more than 30 feet, because I can't quite see the line. On the other side, of 220 on that side when Mike and I were at on the Mount Eagle side uh, you could see the old steel rail post the 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 wire, the wire rope post for the guardrail pretty much guard rope I guess you'd call it back then because now it's called a guardrail but they were on that side there was a handful right before you got to the train crossing I don't see any on this side. I'm looking on both sides. Yeah, that the patch job's held up pretty good considering not being touched. I don't know if I saw guardrails on the other side. On the other side of Hunter's Coke on the, the dam side. Can't remember. Here's a trail crossing. Wapa Lane. Wapa Lane. Wapa Lane. Trail, I guess is how you pronounce it. I passed a butterfly trail on the way in here. Mike and I did that recently. Well, about hunting season, late last year. It seems recent, but it wasn't. Somebody's hoodie. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for my.
video on 220 on that end when we were exploring that side. Uh, we found an old bridge that crosses a stream on that side, the uh, old Tony Bridge across the street, and then uh, I believe we found the one of the original uh, right-of-ways for the railroad, which would have been just to the left. I originally parked over there and tried to come down, but I didn't get too far because, yeah, right in here is about as far as I got because it was so muddy. I was like, yep, I'm not going to do it. I'll just come over to where I was over here. I found some old bricks. I found a crescent, C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T, I think that's how it was spelled, brick. It was in pieces, but I could read that. Let's see if I can see any more while I'm walking along the edge here. I found some, probably some iron ore or uh, whatever. Uh, coke. Coke, that's what I mean. Oh, there's a kill deer. I think that's a kill deer. And we got a brick, maybe? No, that don't look like a brick. And I've seen some red ones. Use it. The ones I've seen around here are like the creamish color. I actually saw some red bricks. Kill deer. Yeah, so Mike's out around somewhere. He ain't here here, but he's around somewhere. Because I called him and asked him what he was doing. And he said he was over here by the park with his uh, buddies with the organization he's with and he said about he was over here and he told me about how the highway looks I was like oh good idea yeah that's a lot of open spots in this patch of work I'll leave a link in the description for his page both his Facebook and his um, YouTube channel. He don't post too many videos. If he does, it's um, pretty much un all majority of his underwater stuff. He's got some great stuff. It's always trash can, really. Unless they left that there if it's for habitat. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Yeah, so let me see if I can get it. You'll find a lot of this stuff in the lake. Or at least in the rocks. Let's see if I can get some there. Now what do you guys think this is? Let's see if it'll focus. Let me try to hold my phone. There we go. Now what do you guys think this is? I find quite a lot of it here in the lake. Another thing that's interesting about this lake is that the, it goes in my, my videos about the canal, but the Bald Eagle and Spring Creek Navigation Company, they had a, they, basically the canal locks and the canal way is destroyed or submerged underneath the water. But uh, they went along old 220 here. Mud is sticking to my shoes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that concrete piece of the highways definitely moved. I 
I know there's a guy down there, but I don't want to be too loud. Let me wipe my shoe. Alright, I wiped my shoe the best I could. Let's see if we get some pictures. This is really interesting. So yeah, this is the uh, northern part of Old 220. I'll just see if I can get some pictures of the highway when it was here. I'm trying to think when they built the dam. Because the dam's way down there. You could see from my Hunter's Cove location. It's a lovely smell. If you guys like these videos with trains and history stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe. They're at the bottom below my video. And also check out my links to donate to uh, help with my adventures. I don't make any money pretty much off of the links. It's just to help with gas and, you know, help you basically make more videos just like these. So if you could, that would be greatly appreciated. Bye, guys.